TYT investigates has broken a, a good story or covered a story about um, the race in Pennsylvania, the special election that's going on. It's Rick Sacone versus Connor Lamb. Sacone is the Republican in the race. There's a lot of other press talking about how Sacone is not doing well in fundraising uh, personally. Now, what they're missing is the bigger picture about the overall money in the race and, and the independent expenditures. And that's where Sacone is doing excellent. And so we want to show you what the real numbers are and then talk about why Sacone is doing well in that in that regard. So as Alex Koch reports here, as of March 12th, the top six outside spending groups in the race have all sided with Sacone, accounting for $10.3 million or 84% of the total independent spending according to a campaign finance data compiled by ProPublica. So uh, the outside money is going almost exclusively to Sacone. Um, why? Well, the incredibly rich companies and people uh, want more tax cuts, they want more deregulation. And Sacone is their boy, and he will do as instructed. So let's give you more context. Overall, including campaign spending, uh, the race has cost roughly $16 million. For Sacone, outside money has accounted for 94% of total spending in his favor. So does he have uh, popular support in the district? That's how uh, a lot of the right wing, especially the national politicians, uh, paint uh, money in the race. Like, well, he's got popular support. No, he doesn't. It's not from the district. 94% is outside money. They don't care about that district. They care about getting another congressman who will vote for more tax cuts for the rich, more deregulation of their industries. That's why that money is pouring in. By the way, do we have a democracy? $16 million for a house race. This is an auction, it's not a democracy. So let's look at the people who are participating in this auction and buying this particular candidate. Since late November, Charles Koch, oh, look at that. His wife Elizabeth, son Chase, and Koch Industries have contributed hundreds of thousands of dollars to committees involved in the Pennsylvania 18 race. So the Koch brothers, in, in all the different ways that Alex explains, are pouring money into this race. and the. Uh, Link to the full article is down below in the description box if you're watching on YouTube or comment section on Facebook. You should always look there for the links to the stories that we talk about. He lays out all the different ways that the Koch brothers are funneling money into the race. So why? Well, why do the Koch brothers care so much? Well, you're not gonna be surprised, it's the same old story as I've been telling you. The Koch network pushed hard for the GOP tax cut bill last year, spending $20 million pressuring lawmakers to give corporations and the richest Americans enormous tax breaks. And that was money really well spent. That is why they try to buy politicians like Rick Saccone. Because that $20 million is a drop in the bucket from what they made from those tax breaks. They benefit the tune of not millions, but billions of dollars. The Koch family got billions, and that's before the estate tax. We're talking about pass through income. We're talking about the top rate being lowered. Uh, corporate taxes being lowered dramatically, which is gonna, uh, it's either going to help the Coke Industries because of the lower corporate tax rate or through their pass through entities and their own personal taxes. And then you get to the estate tax. Billions upon billions of dollars in savings to the Koch brothers. So sprinkling in a couple of percentage points to cheap politicians like Rick Saccone is actually a good return on investment. Perhaps we shouldn't let them privately finance our elections so that they don't buy all of our politicians. But in this case, it's not working so well because he's losing the race, even though that is a heavily Republican district. Because all the TV ads they're buying is not working as much anymore, but they keep going that well. So more on why they might wanna purchase Rick Saccone. For the Cokes and their business interests, Saccone is a good bet, Koch explains. The small government conservative has touted his support for the recent tax cuts. And outside groups have bought ads attacking Lamb for his opposition to the cuts. And here's what Saccone told supporters, quote, we had a great tax bill that we just passed. So good pat on the head for Rick, good job, good job. Keep voting for those tax cuts that are worth overall trillions of dollars for the rich and for multinational corporations. So it's not the only issue they care about, again, Alex Koch lays out a several different issues they care about, including 
oil and gas uh, interests, which Coke Industries has a lot of money tied up in those industries. Sakona is, of course, in favor of more fracking and more fossil fuel energy industries as a win win for Coke. And, and now, one more here. Uh, Sakona is surely the better ba candidate for the Coke, says Koch explains, whose corporate conglomerate includes oil and gas drilling, pipeline and chemical businesses. Coke Industries has an uh, abysmal pollution record. Having had to pay over $736 million in fines for numerous environmental violations since 2000. The deregulation is not so that America has more freedom. It's deregulation so the Koch brothers don't have to keep paying hundreds of millions of dollars in fines when they pollute. The pollution goes into the air and the water that you and your kids breathe and drink. Well, that's inconvenient for them. They don't want to pay those fines. They want to be able to pollute the rivers in the air without having people bothering them. So what do they do? They get a guy like Rick Sacone says, "Oh, you want trillions in tax cuts? Can do. You don't want to protect the environment or people's kids or families? Can do. No problem, Mr. Koch. What else do you need, Mr. Koch? Oh, you'd like me to end the unions because the unions actually stand up for your workers. They collect them together so they have some sort of leverage over you guys." Who have a collective about $85 billion between Charles and David Koch? Well, no problem. Attack the unions, attack the workers, attack the people who are receiving wages from Koch Industries. Whatever the Kochs want, Sacone will give to them. That is why they've poured in all this money. Luckily, for the moment being at least, it appears that it's not working very well. Tomorrow's the election, and if you live in that district, you might want to do something about that. Uh, but there is one candidate in the race that is clearly uh, interested in representing uh, one family in particular, and that is Rick Sacone uh, and Coke Industries, the Coke family overall, have to be very pleased about the policy positions of their candidate, though not pleased that people aren't buying what they're selling anymore. If you become a member of the Young Turks, you'll be saying, You know, I'm like a smart person. So do it right now, tytnetwork.com slash join. Get the whole Young Turks show every day.